Greetings everyone, and welcome back to the End of a New Beginning mod. I'm your host, Herr Mokolover, or Preussischer Mokolover. Hmm. Regardless, uh, we've got a lot of comps to go through. It's July 4th, 1858, and we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Actually, there's quite a few comments. Wow, uh, well, I guess it's normal for America to have a border war with the Sioux in the 1850s, but regardless, let's do another focus, shall we? Uh, an army with a state sounds pretty good. I have to wait for that one. We have to wait till 1860 for all this stuff, or 1859, so... Totally fine. Foreign policies. Ah, uh, more stability would not be bad, actually. And we must have the the spirit for Hoxie Flota, so let's focus maybe more on our economy, perhaps. Berliner Börse? Preussen Consortium? Uh, let's see. Oh, ooh, I like that one. What do we have here? Legitimacy power. Trade laws go down. Um, let's see. This stuff is not bad. I'm looking for stuff for more, as far as I can tell, like, industry stuff. Oh, I like this one. I like the rifle stuff, which we'll need soon enough. But let's go with Preussian industrialization. While the Industrial Revolution has come to our nation, most of our economy is still being dominated by pre-industrial business sectors like agriculture or handcraft. Promoting this, the industrial development of urban regions will surely support economic growth. Industrial, the Industrial Revolution as consequences has been a disaster for the world. Well, I don't know. It depends on your opinion. I don't know. Every time I see that, I'm just like, okay, I gotta stop browsing Reddit. Anyways, we got a lot of comments to go through. Let's see. First of all, you guys, you guys can obviously read better than me because I didn't realize that I just had to ask Hanover for military access. Oh, maybe I should not abandon the border between us and friends. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> but regardless, so yeah, I did get ha military access through Hanover, which was great. So thank you for you know reminding me that I can just ask for military access sometimes. Ooh, pol polymer chemistry, cool. And we'll have 1850 gunboats done soon. Uh, let's see. So that's well, that one. A lot of people. Uh, as have recommended that I play a lot of different nations in this mod, including the Austrian Empire south of us, uh, the French, the Confederates, the Wallachians, the UK, the Ottomans, and not too much just America, but Russia loses to Circassia. Really? They lost to Circassia? Wow. Oh, Krasnodar. I know where that is now because of uh, Victory of the Dual Monarchy mod. Another loss to Russia? Okay, well, it's a good thing to see that Russia isn't as god tier powerful as. Uh, they can be in some mods. Some mods. Flight. Doesn't, I don't really care about the dreams of flight. Oh, that actually might be really good to do eventually. I think we can wait. Uh, is there anything else here? There's so much stuff here that it... Ooh, construction speed. That you might just get a little bit lost. But we're going to go through the, our current focus as I'm going through all the comments that we have here together. Let's see. Someone recommends that we focus on the civilian economy as much as possible right now. Uh, I'm trying. Like, we'll, we'll go as fast as we can. So, that'll be good. We want to get some farms. I guess we'll try to do some of the steel mills. And logging camps. Actually, that's not too bad, actually. More wood, but we don't need more wood. Textile mills might not be bad. You get eight fabric. Uh, let's see, fabric. We already have a little bit of fabric. I would like machine parts, though, and uh, spare parts. What is this one? This is electronics. That'd be good to get. Uh, let's see. Also, off screen, I did grab uh, this guy who gives us more daily traditional conservatism support. So, and we get less consumer goods, so I thought that was good. Eventually, I would like. Oh, they go to the Dominican Republic. They kill themselves. Literally had a civil war down there. I would like to grab maybe this guy. Me, eh, maybe he's okay. I like working class figurehead just because it gives you more the legislative power gain, stability, and weekly st weekly stability. Even though I don't really care much for the social egalitarianism support, whatever it is, what it is. We're still making more divisions, which is I'd say probably pretty normal. And our army is facing those guys. Ooh, actually we have a navy here. I haven't done anything with the navy yet. Go ahead and train. Uh, Aldebert von Preussen. Hello there. Good luck. Good luck. Anything else here? Disinherit our hair. I'm so, someone recommended I should disinherit our heir, but our heir isn't the problem. We have a strong heir. Uh, who I don't, I can't tell who it is. But it's Friedrich Wilhelm IV, who has suffered a, quite a few strokes, and that's why he's partially paralyzed. I actually looked him up. He retires and, or just actually literally dies in, I think, 1861. Historically, he suffered from quite a few strokes, and he, like, maybe went mentally insane a little bit eventually. But by the next year, 1859, um, he should be okay, so, or at least, maybe not okay, he'll be, hopefully we'll have someone else leading, hopefully by the end of this year, but, the Koenig Brewery. Theodor Koenig has recently seen large success with his brewery, the Koenig Brewery. Just opening a few days ago in Duisburg, they quickly, they brew quality beer in the Pilsner style. A, order a tasting beer for the ministry. Very cool. Uh, let's see. And, yeah, we'll talk about other stuff as well. I already did Ask Hanover for Access. I literally write down a list of comments every single time we have comments. Unless there's enough, I can just remember off the top of my head. Uh, let's see. Reform stuff. Like, this reform stuff. Apparently, 
you know, I was kind of not smart about it. And I, I recorded the first episode kind of late in the day, so I was kind of tired. But, like, even with, like, this stuff, you click on it. If you don't have buttons, that's the level you're currently at. So, now I understand. Now I understand. Love it. Uh, let's see. Education, child... Ooh, child labor. Can I... It's restricted. What type of benefits do we get? Hmm. I mean, this is basically... Oh, the delegates from Moldavia have arrived. Uh, they've arrived complaining about the Ottomans ignoring of accusations of vote, vote rigging. How should we respond back the call? Um... I don't want to go to war with the Ottomans. I'll do it anyways. I'm trying to budget. Oh, pressing industrialization. Great. All right. Uh, Bolsish. Okay. I'm trying to politics. Can you please go bye-bye? Thank you. All right. Uh, Osish Bolsish has been in the business of mechanical engineering since 1837. His company now focuses on locomotives. He has recently expanded his factories in the northwest of Berlin, and supporting him in his efforts could help to secure a dominant and stable supplier of much-needed railway equipment, which we like. Hopefully. High command, we already did this stuff last time, so very cool. And I guess right now, ooh, gather worst gather political legitimacy, stabilize a nation. We get more stability, we lose political power, we get more weekly stability. Ooh, I don't mind that. Political stability is pretty important, but we get more probably regular national stability, which isn't bad. That actually gives us a lot of benefits too. Oh, because we have such high national stability, our weekly stability goes down. But I don't like that. What? So naturally, we had to go down like 50% for stability. I don't know if I like that, man. Uh, if we do, uh, let's see, minor Greek influence costs us 100 political power, or legislative power, but we can, well, we'll lose daily legislative power, but we get minus 5% consumer goods factories. Let's try that, maybe? Major Greek influence, huh? In which you lose even more legislative power, but you get even more consumer goods factories, because I want to build, build, build arenas. There we go, nice. All right, other comments. Someone recommends we try to secular, liberal, democratic Prussia, Germany. Um, I'm not sure about that one for this run, just because I don't know anything about this mod. This is literally my first, like, uh, step into the mod, so we'll see, maybe. Um, I just want to make sure I can do well. Like, I, I don't know that much about this mod, period, so. I just want to make sure we can do well first, and maybe eventually. Uh, read all focuses before you create Germany, because the focus tree does change at some point. Yes, it does. Uh, that being said, actually, you know what? I don't like how many divisions we have over here. I like the horses. Is this enough to kill enemies? I don't really know. <clears throat> but, yes, yeah, so the focus tree does change. So, I'll be honest with you. I was watching, actually, ISP play back in 2020. Um, he played this mod and featured it a little bit. So, I'm like, okay. I kind of got a better idea on what to think about. Ah, here we go. Look at this. So, I have a slightly better understanding of how this mod runs. But, due to the health status of our current region, Friedrich Wilhelm IV, his successor, Prince Wilhelm I, has been assigned with the task of a regency in Prussia for now. At least it'll be stable. it'll stabilize the situation a bit. Good. Well, oh no, don't tell me he's still here, though. Oh my gosh, he's still here. Ah, oh, I thought we were going to get rid of him. I knew it was in October 1858, but Jesus. Ah, uh, we lose stability again. Uh, why? Uh, bless his heart. It's not his fault, you know. If he has a stroke, it's not his fault at all. So. Um, arrest opposition leaders. Eh. Oh, Kona Carnival. Gain base stability. Well. Oh well. Other comments. Let's see. Reforms mean if you have no buttons next to the reform, that means you are here. We already went over that. Historical means wars with Denmark, Austria, and France. Yes, I played actually in my own time, like back in the old days, back in like the earlier 2010s, <laughs> which aren't that old, but whatever. Um, I have played a lot of Victoria too, so I know we eventually have to go to war with Denmark. We've got to get Schleswig and Holstein, really. So, and hopefully all of it. But uh, we need to take that place over, which should happen relatively soon ish. We go to war with Austria for the Brothers' War, and then we have to go to war with the French Empire, force, get Bismarck in charge, piss off the French, let them declare war on us, and we'll have a good time with them. Infrastructure development. One of our wealthiest aristocrats in the country has funded a project to expand the local infrastructure in one of our states. Since our country is in a phase of rapid industrialization, we are able to realize this plans with a bit of additional funding quite quickly. Superb! Great! We love it. We love it, 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 love it. Major Greek influence. Ooh. Hmm... We can only get 0.8. Develop the Prussian homeland, not bad. Ah, to do this anyways, why not? Polymer chemistry, not bad. And throughout this entire campaign, I'm just going to be skipping around a whole bunch. Just because we'll be going through focuses as much as possible together. Um, eh, why not? Who cares? Uh, just, but... Ooh, new air cabinet. Oh, look at that. With the regency of Count, Crown Prince Wilhelm came an unexpected wave of liberalism in Prussia. The Crown Prince, who was hetero, here... 
uh, hit hetero, seen as a reactionary by many in Prussia, spent some time in the court of Queen Victoria in liberal Great Britain after being forced to flee from the Berlin amidst the Re March Revolution of 48 and 49. The cabinet he installed after ascending regency, headed by PM Karl Anton von Hohenzollern Sigmaringen, Sigmaring Sigmaring sparked hopes of a liberal wind of change. Volan! Cool, new era. Oh crap, we get more daily centrism support. Is that what we want? Do we want to become centrists, or do we want to say conservative? Because you can have conservatives, or you can have reactionaries, and there's a little bit of a difference, isn't there? You know. Oh, look at the Mr. Mustache. Okay, cool. But uh, he's still leading. God, can we just kill the monarch off? Can we not just like make him a general and kill him off that way, like in EU4? Uh, military leaders promoted. It is a greatest pleasure to promote the following lieutenant generals to the rank of general: Wilhelm von Radzivill and Edward von Piker. Furthermore, Edward von Jachmann has been promoted to the rank of Admiral. Congratulations to the accomplishments so far in the new rank. The battlefield again will be the touchstone, be it on land or air. Gott mit uns. Cool. I guess the next one we'll read is Krupp. The uneasy balance between state and corporate has proved superiority for the companies, as both the capital and devotion to production is far greater than we will ever be able to achieve on our own. One of the most prominent of these, Friedrich Krupp, specializes in the production of steel and artillery. Cooperating with him will surely not only increase our militaristic capabilities, but also reduce the burden in terms of war. Nice. Parliamentary elections of 50, uh, 58. The parliamentary elections of 50 have taken place, and the final results came in a few minutes ago. The liberal-leaning new era cabinet has emerged from the election even stronger, and it seems like the liberal ideology is on the rise for now. Okay. That's fine. Um, we might just go with more liberalism then, or more centrism. So, and that does help our consumer goods, but we would want to get more uh, legislative power because that guy does hurt us quite a bit. Do we have a silent workhorse here or something? I would like a silent workhorse. Oh, that's not 5%. That's not much. Research speed. Legislative power. I like that. Tailored traditional conservative support. Uh, we'll see. Anyways, uh, next research will be done soon enough. High phosphate fertilizer. Yes, as Taki Senpai did say, I literally comment on the last video, so he said, yeah, there's a lot of waiting in this game, or this mod. I mean, it's all Holy 4, but ooh, look at that. That's kind of, I've never seen an icon like that split in the middle, or pierced in the middle. Wow, that is kind of wild. Yeah, cool, though. All right, let's go and grab some food preservation, food canning. Let's make sure we eat clean food. Other comments include, yeah, Denmark, Austria, France, we gotta go to war with them. Colonial stuff is a research we should be uh, aware of, and I wrote down, it says, under the socio-economic humanities part of the tree, which is down here. So I'm, I I looked off screen just a little, a little bit to where it would be at. Look at that lag. Wow. But we gotta wait till 1870, so totally fine. Totally, totally fine. Um, yeah, waiting simulator. Don't challenge Russia when you go to war with France. That's probably a good idea, regardless of campaign. And the content might go up to 1890. The technology apparently is here up until 2050, I think, in, like someone said. So, yeah, look at all the tech. Oh, look at that. Prototype plasma rifle. Are we really going to get plasma rifles then? In 20... Ooh. Are we developing plasma rifles right now? So, yeah. Wow. 60s plasma rifle. Cool. But regardless, we're going to jump around a bit. I, well, I might show you technology. I might not just because there's so much here. But we'll see what happens. And we have the Athens Istanbul Telegraph Line. Work today, workers. At the Siemens Halska company finished construction of the telegraph line between the cities of Istanbul and Athens. Another victory for German engineering. We got 50 legislative power, not bad, but we can choose another focus, my friends. And which we shall do ah, Siemens and Halska. Werner Siemens is one of the most innovative minds in the field of telecommunications worldwide. In 1847, he established his business with the precision engineer Johann Jörg Halske in the west of Berlin. Since then, the company has experienced dramatic growth, and we could certainly benefit from growing or supporting them in their efforts. Now, uh, so last focus we did was about Krupp, and it is now 1859. Uh, but with this one, it says, support Krupp in Essen, so in Ost Rhineland. We need at least two military and civilian industries, so that would be good. Uh, zwei Kaiser Treffen in Stuttgart. Oh, Napoleon III, Alexander II, from the French and Russian empires, visited Stuttgart. Oh, at the invitation of Wilhelm I. Emperors were given places to stay. Oh, okay, very cool. Chile kill, it's kill, killing itself, cool. Oh, uh, talking about stuff. Neutral ground. Uh, the Russian Empire successfully managed to break through the political isolation caused by the Crimean War, and the French Empire received a promise of neutrality from the Russian Empire in the case of war in Italy. Interessant. Very cool. We could do the Kolna Carnival, but 0.5 stability would be nice. Oh man, weekly change goes down. Oh boy. Stability is too high, as well as Friedrich Wilhelm. Eh, I don't like that a lot. I really do not like that, so... But we have Hal Siemens here. Ooh, stagnation. Well, we want to make a lot of babies. Ooh, look at that. 2% of the budget for economic policies. I don't know, man. That seems kind of low. 
And, oh man, can we please just get to 1861 and get rid of this guy? But passing a... Karl Friedrich Emil zu Donner Schlafbitten. Sad news today has just reached us that the Field Marshal Karl Friedrich Emil zu Donner Schlafbitten passed away this morning. Our thoughts are with his family and his soldiers, so who will undoubtedly be missing him dearly. Tragic, his accomplishments and service will not be forgotten. Oh, there goes another Field Marshal. Major influence uh, competed. Uh, another great power is competing with us over Greek influence. How should we respond to the act? Only time will tell. It's an act of war. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go to war with those guys yet, so, yeah. Me mechanical farming, or mechanized farming, very nice. And, what do we have here? Monthly population goes up. Uh, monthly population, monthly population. I like the monthly population thing. I don't know, I never focus on it. It's really never, or maybe I should say never, but not usually important in Hoi 4, because usually Hoi 4 doesn't have a very long time span for, uh, you know, the game time frame, or, you know, just a time period. But with this mod... That's going to be a little bit more important, especially if we want to push a little further into the decades ahead of us. Uh, actually, I, I need to check. We, oh, God. We can't manage to go to war. War goals can only be gained from national focuses, events, and decisions. Well, I'm glad I got my soldiers over here. And we could use a little bit more army XP because I was... Or someone told me on my Discord server that, yes, we, the combat is pretty much the same as the normal mods. You can go to things with 5, really more like 10 to 20 to 40 combat with infantry, but nothing bigger than 40 combat with because supply is just, the game just can't handle, the mod can't handle it, because you lose a lot of attrition as we saw in Hanover, so I'm thinking I'm going to aim for maybe 10 combat with, maybe 20 combat with, depending on who we have, so we'll see. Uh, support crap, so let's go, where is Ost Rhineland? It is right here. And currently, we are still building, uh, what is it, civilian factories? What if we stop... Well, actually, you know what? Let's let go one line go on first. Let's go to one. So when that's finished, we will continue to build some civilian industries here. So we'll go one, two. And that is Ost Rheinland. Oh, we need one more there. Okay, so we can do that. Let's get this one done first. The Republic of Venezuela declared war on the United States of Venezuela. Well, Venezuela sounds like it's a very troubled place right now, but whatever. So we have one and one. So I'll get one more civilian factory, and maybe we'll build another military factory. Now, I don't think there's too much of a budget here maybe there's i'm not really sure just because when in tno if you get into the military factory uh your budget you know spends more money obviously but i'm not sure that really happens in this mod so we'll see i'm not completed we lose legislative power we lose some stability i can't tell how many years that is i'm gonna assume that's five years a little less than five years so that's not too bad and we lose stability if we don't complete it but if we do complete it it gets two more building slots and two percent more stability which would be kind of nice you know it's not super important but Stability is usually one of the most important modifiers we have. Minor foreign influence competed. We didn't need it anyways. They'll pay for that in time. Oh, they took over our influence of Greek. They'll pay for that in time. Sure, I guess we'll do that one. And next up, we'll do Vulcan AG. Pomerania. Pomerania. Along with the provinces of Berlin and Brandenburg around it, stands as an example of great industrial might within Central Europe. But when compared to the world leaders of industrialization, it still has quite a way to go. One promising company from Stetten is the so-called Vulcan AG, specialized in the shipbuilding industry. Expanding their factories and subsidizing industrial growth in the region should increase our industrial capability greatly. Shares in the Suez Canal project. After being in the planning works for at least a decade, the comp... Pongye, Compagnie Universelle du Canal Maritime de Suez, a French Empire company, has been formed to undertake the task of rebuilding the canal. Or building the canal, really. Today, they have sent out requests for other powers to purchase stocks in the company to fund the construction. Are we interested? Uh, yes. Oh, crap. There's actually a modifier for this. Under construction, 15% current progress. You have contributed to the Suez Canal, 0%. Suez Canal construction displays construction phase. Uh, well, how can I help you? Current investors, um, advance the machine age would be nice. Obviously, we can't do that yet. Uh, let's see. Oh, look at that. Oh, support is a crop. Two and two. Oh, we need at least three civilian industry there in Berlin. And we'll get another building site, which would not be bad. Support Siemens and Halska in Berlin. I mean, that's fine with us. How do I do stuff here? Current Suez. What do you mean? What do I do to you? How can I do you? What do I do? Um, do I just kind of sit here? As... 17, how, so they have 17, what, what do I do, 17%, is there another map screen I can see maybe, oh, construction speed, oh, is it over here maybe, is it under the next page, maybe, maybe not, internal politics, Lantog, current president, no, no, we don't have anything like that, uh, healthcare, ha, 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 growth policies, maybe we want to fix that up, education, press, freedom assembly, so idea Piedmont defeats Austria, a shift of power in Italy, whoa, 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 whoa. is that supposed to happen? Whoa. Very nice. It is 1859. Peace conference is over. Calculating effects. 
Mexico kill is Mexico killing itself? Okay. Rising support for the central Catholicism of Fraxion de Centrums. Although we strive for denominational equality, our Catholic subjects fear future oppression. That's why we're starting to take starting to tie their political behavior to their belief. Catholic delegates in Parliament have taken the first step to the establishment of a political party. The are now united as a so-called faction of the center of Fraxion de Centrums. We need to watch the Catholics? Oh, I don't like that. Catholics. Oh boy. Um seriously five percent. How do we Lessons from the Austro Sardinian War? Both the Crimean War and the Second Italian War of Independence have proven the deficiencies of our army quite plainly. We need to think of possible reform measures. Anzvek? Uh we weren't we didn't lose though. We were I, I don't think we were in the war, were we? Um Carnival. I mean I'd like to build more things, please. Can we please build? I don't think I can influence anything here either. Uh, I mean, is it just like over time we'll just pay more and more? Because I, I know it wasn't done like in a day or anything like that, but maybe we'll see. Change of pop party popularity. Oh, what is this? I guess off screen we did get the Japanese amnesty treaty. Less consumer goods, the legislative power gain, so. The Amelie treaties were a set of unequal treaties signed between the Tokugawa shogunate and Western powers that made Japan have un unrestricted free trade from the West. The West. Always to the detriment of the long, isolated Japanese economy. Nice. Mm, ooh, less consumer goods, nice. More cotton farms. Ah, uh, on Humboldt found dead. Alexander von Humboldt, famous Prussian scientist and world traveler, has been found dead in his home after his physical condition has been deteriorating the last few months following his few strokes. He was buried in Berlin after a large procession. His death is a big loss for a country. May he rest in peace. I love these little icons. It reminds me of EU4, which I'm pretty sure it is taken from EU4, but whatever. <clears throat> how, how do I contribute, please? Do I just pay French people? Mm, stabilize. Oh! Political actions. Start the Eulenburg expedition. Destroy three ships. What the heck? We will order Count Friedrich Albrecht zu Eulenburg to go on an expedition in Asia. To establish diplomatic connections there, we will have to provide him with ships. Alright, we'll see what happens. Vulcan AG? Hygiene? Who needs that? And, you know, just in case, we're going to grab the Dreisel rifle. Originally developed by Nico Johann Nikolaus von Dreisel and is manufactured in the Thuringian hinterland, the Dreisel Nero gun is a promising bolt action breech loading rifle. If we can manage to mass produce this technologically superior rifle, we should enjoy a significant advantage on the battlefield. Make our enemies go kaboom. How is the army doctrine? Oh, never mind, it's going on. Anything here? Uh, I'm not sure which one. Do, when you guys play this mod, do you use howitzers? Or do we do RML field guns? A field, a muzzle loaded field gun versus a howitzer. Now, both obviously have their own respective parts of the tree. But I'm not really sure which one to use. Let me know in the comments below which one I should use. I mean, we've already got howitzers, but let me know which one you guys use. I'm interested in hearing about what you guys use for that. So, Alright, 1850, 1859. Oh, let's go all the way back, please. Whee! Just a few centuries back. Uh, 1860, better designs. Mm, cap, growth, yeah, that's important and all. Uh, let's get division recovery because we can. I mean, I, I, I'm just, I'm puzzled at what I can do there. Oh, uh, well, wow, look at our stability. Holy crap, that's not good. Well, we do have some things we could maybe do here. Are we supposed to pass reforms? We, I guess we probably can. Friend of capitalism. Centrism. Do we want centrism? Franco Prussian Treaty. Oh, goodbye. Natural. We need. Oh, Alpha Crop must be unlocked by decision. Okay. Uh, efficient administrator. Um, that's not bad. Hmm. Railroad tycoon. Eh. Legislative power. Meh. Revolutionary. Collective socialists. Social egalitarians. Oh, authoritarian Democrats, Helen House. House Hohenzollern. Zentrum. Anti Semitia Bewegung. Hmm. Anarchist Arbeiter Bewegung. Okay. I'm not really sure which one we should go for. And it, the, I've heard that the more parties we have, the more difficult it is to do anything, so. Or just trying to, you know, pass reforms and such. Which, I don't think I'll ever want to pass reforms again after the disastrous one, disastrous one we added in the first episode. Oh. I don't remember asking Hamburg for military access, but okay. 
discriminatory laws. So we have uh, limited equality, I guess. Full equality? Huh. Economic mobilization maximum work hours. Oh, 14 hour work days, huh? Executive order. We lose a lot of legislative power. If you're not an absolute mar um, what are we? So let's just state total intelligence. You will lose political stability. The political stability is right there. Mm. I think I'm going to have to learn this the hard way. Freedom of assembly. Do we let people assemble peacefully? And law and order. I love infrastructure, man. Eh, whatever. I'm going to go back. Round two. Here we go. So, let's see. There's nothing we can do without that. We need to have a 29. Okay, so we estimate the vote will have 129 for the reform out of 256. Centrists have 28.4% approval, while the traditional conservatives at 60.7%. The infrastructure budget act of 1859. We have we need 128 votes, but we need that much. But we have 129. Make a speech to parliament. Decrease approval by parties and opposition. So if I don't touch anything, we can do well. The Deutsche National Verein. The violent aggravation of the Italian struggle for unification sent shockwaves across the continent, especially in fragmented Germany, where the ideals of the nation-state fell on very fertile ground. One of the main proponents of a united German nation was found in the immediate aftermath of the Austro-Sardinian War. The German National Association or Deutsche National Verein, formed by liberals and moderate Democrats, the association supported a Prussian-led German nation-state without Austria. Von der Maas bis an die Memel. Uh, von der Etsch bis an den Belt. Oh. More war support and legislative power? Cool. So if I don't touch anything, we're not going to screw it up. Maybe we can maybe hold a world fair. This costs a significant amount of legislative power and money, but reward us with international recognition and prestige. And I'm guessing that we're sixth in the world in or in just power, overall power projection, I should say. Anything else up here I should really care about? Nope. All right, then. Maybe we should try to hold a world fair. Oh, let's see. All must be true. Greater power, more legislative power than 200. As a secondary power, more legislative power than 300. Did I sell a rifle just in case? Uh, go, oh, happy. No. Oh. Economic legislation? Why not? Prussian economic legislation has only just begun to coordinate the practices of trade, commerce, science, and industry more rigorously. By expanding, standardizing, and centralizing these regulations, we could certainly remove obstacles and prevent exploitation. If I don't move, I don't touch anything, we're we'll going to do okay. <clears throat> oh, second Eisenach Declaration. Uh, yes, that sounds like a good, actually a good idea to do. Uh, is there, like, seriously, is there a sphere map mode we can see? I'm so used. Oh, there goes Central America. Uh, oh, voting results. Uh, just, I'm so used to seeing the sphere stuff from Vicky, too. Uh, if you like to do let's go right ahead. The final votes, well, is the polling supposed to be normal? Since 129, we need 256, but that says yay was 140. That's not exactly, um, that doesn't line up, so I'm, I, I don't understand that. 116 says no, but it was 127 that said no. Regardless, like as someone said in the comments from the last video, because we succeed, we get one more political stability, so I guess... Oh, the stability system. I totally forgot about that. I don't know why, why I thought it was different. It's like EU4, because you can go up to 3 stability, or or minus 3 stability, right? So artillery support. Oh, look at that. Nice. Finally. It took forever to get, but that's nice. Uh, artillery attack, defense, and heart attack, or supply consumption goes down. More, ooh, soft attack for those guys, or more breakthrough, ooh. Do you want attack or defense? Or do you want support company cannons, 4% more attack, and 10% more breakthrough? Let's take a look here. So let's say with these guys. Their attack is 4% more, or that's just actually 10% more breakthrough. So 1.4 times 10% is literally 0.14, so that's like almost nothing. So, but if I threw on a regular artillery piece, Attack is 32, so I'm going to go with the side that just gives me more flat, 5% more attack, so I love heavy artillery. Uh, support Werner Siemens. We use two civilian factories to get another building slot. Can be selected as an advisor. Von Siemens? Uh, what does he do? Von Siemens, where are you? Oh, Krupp is right there. Uh, von Graf. Von... S oh, here he is. Oh, that's not bad. Factory construction speed. Oh, I like that, yes. I want to grab him. World's Fair can wait. Hell, Hell Siemens. Guten Tag. 
Um. Oh, wait, do we have to wait for this? Oh, crap. When removed. Oh, come on. Oh, we have to wait so long for him. Um, at least two. Oh, my goodness. Maybe I chose too many things to do here. We need two military, two civilian factories right there, huh? Well, we have two civilian industries. What if we bought a military one there now? There you go. It's only 35% infrastructure, but that's okay. And are these any faster or slower? They're actually a little bit faster, just slightly faster to make. So that'll be done in 61. That's just going to take a long booty time. So we're going to get... Ooh. Wait, I thought it said we had to do at least two civilian industries. I'm pretty sure we have at least two there, don't we? Yeah, we already have two, so... Um, right? It's really hard to tell. Honestly, as much as I love the unlock slots, at, so, at the point like this, I mean, it should really say, oh, let's just how many civilian factories you have. Let's just how many military factories you have. Let's just how many slots you've used so far, and here's how many more slots you can currently add on. I think that'd just be easier than looking at literally 81 different slots here. That's a bit a bit nuts, in my opinion, but that, maybe that, that's, just, that's probably just me. Airbase. So it says we have one military factory, two military factory, one, mili one civilian industry, and two civilian industries. So... Um... We have two and two. I mean, I can build... Two and two in here. So... Mechanical production, I guess so. Mm, machine parts, ooh. Mm, sure, we'll grab this one. Steam locomotive, why not? Anything else? Carnival. Good, good, good. 5%. Nothing has really changed there. That's fine. Economic legislation with Allgemeines Deutsches Handgesell uh, Handelsgesetzbuch. More legislative power, resources to the market, trade deal, opinion factor, and trade law costs. Okay. Well, our trade networks and maritime influence is minuscule compared to the colonial powers of the West. The German regions have been structured through centuries of mercantile trade far even before the Hansa. Until now, the exact state of merchants and trade was only vaguely defined or discussed within the government with the, and with the rise of capitalism and industrialization. Our nation now needs to tackle this. The lack of centralized trade also rem resembles the disunity of the German states. As a dominant German power, Prussia needs to, be pu needs to push ahead. Reform the drastic suggested in the Palskirche Constitution should solidify our trade and unite the German Confederation closer than before. And hate rescript. Recently, Dr. Robert Avalamant came back from his journeys in Brazil. While this in itself is quite positive news, the newsy bears aren't that good. Germans who decided to emigrate to Brazil are being exploited by fazenderos, all-powerful owners of coffee plantations. They lack food, medical care, and due to the nature of the system they are tricked into, they constantly fall deeper and deeper into the debts. As Ava Lamont, La Lament put it, it is a human butchery. We must act, therefore we shall disallow any emigration for recruitment to Brazil. It is the only reasonable choice. Brazil, please, save that for the 20th century, shall we? We've got things to do and hmm, uh, new conscripts to have. Major influence, foreign influence competed. Uh, Greek influence, town will tell, so be it. And once again, look at our, our political power, or I'm just going to call it political power from here out. It doesn't make sense why I call it legislative power. Political power is where it's at. It's almost it's 1860, which is good, but I decided to invest in the Greek sphere some more just because, well, I needed more consumer goods for these factories in Ost Rhineland. So be it. I think next we'll try a World's Fair. I think it'd be kind of fun. Eh, anything else here? Yeah, that's very good, very good. I need those civilian factories back. Please, 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 please. And we gotta wait for that little bit to happen, too. What do we do here? Uh, Greece needs a better opinion of us. Can we invite them to the Trade Zolverein? Improve relations. Limit exports. Nice. So now we only get 0.39 PP, or LP, but wow. They're led by the Russian party. Okay. Constantine Canaris. All right, well, we'll see what happens. And, yeah, trade treaties with the Greeks. Hopefully it goes okay. And the uh, United States of the Hawaiian Islands. Uh, the guy holds a speech, which happens pretty much every year. I don't really care about that too much, but happy new decade, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. And actually, what are our relations with the Greeks? Everyone just wants to influence the Greek people. Oh, it's not great. <laughs> 
It's going up by like three a day, which is not bad. Decrease in opinion, decrease in opinion, improve relations, different ideology. They are authoritarian Democrats, which is fine. Oh, everyone wants, well, maybe not everyone wants Greek independence, but <laughs> they're guaranteeing their independence, but the Anglo-French occupation of Athens. All right, well, whatever. Let's go back over here. And I don't want to forget this, but build the Hawk Sea Flota. Our Navy's obvious shortcomings during the First Schleswig War are proof enough for the necessity of a genuine deep sea fleet. If we want to be taken seriously as a great power, we also need to expand our Navy to some extent. Nice. A lot of decisions to expand our Navy. Very good. Because I would like to get some sort of colony here. Nothing looks like it's happening really over here, which is fine. Actually, were they able to get anyone else here? No, no one else cared. Order world fail. Not bad, not bad. Oh! We have more arm XP. I didn't even realize that. Alright, so I'm not really sure what to use, so I'll try to do the try and true these guys. We'll see what happens. Line of the tree seems pretty, probably pretty good to do. Supplies goes a little bit up. And more, maybe some more infantry, maybe? These guys use a lot of supply, Jesus. So we'll try that. If we need to, we can cut down on the divisions maybe a little bit. There you go. I'm not sure if this is the right thing to do or not, but. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments below. Now, for the horses units, I'm not really sure what to use. I think I want to use a lot of cuirassiers. These are heavy cavalry, I think. Yeah. Maybe heavies, because they have good organization. Uh, sort, of, sort of light cavalry, it looks like, too. Oh, but lancers have even more. But I do like the light cavalry, because it does give you point one reconnaissance. So... Um, this actually raises your HP by quite a bit more. Oh, you just throw more on, you know. Uh, Sepoy. Let's pay for that in time. Uh, we need more uniforms, which sucks. Actually, can we afford uniforms? No, we cannot. Alrighty, so. Yeah, maybe we'll wait. We, we need to... I can't believe to pay for uniforms, too. Oh, boy. That's not good. That's not good. Horses are looking good. Uh, go and do that, then. We need more cannons, too, so... Cool, we'll get there eventually. Oh. Hey, trade. Yes, trade with the Greeks. A add them to the Zolverine. And push us his head as far as we possibly can in this. Holy crud. Um, ba -da -dum -bum 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 -bum. Did we not build anything yet? No, we've not. God dang it. My gosh. It takes so long to build something. January 1861. On the origins of species, if you'd like to read about this, please go right ahead. Oh, oh I didn't even look at this stuff yet. Oh, you can sell agency branches. Wow. All right. Anything else here? Hmm. Oh, seventeen percent. I said seventeen percent done. Okay. Well, if there's nothing I can do to add, maybe it's a focus. Maybe it is. Maybe it's a focus. Yes, this would be good to get done. Uh, anything else here? Not really. Can we maybe pass a reform, perhaps? Land talk. Let's see what we can do. Law and order, infrastructure maintenance, research funding, political parties, suffrage. We don't believe in that. Border loss, tax rates, maximum work hours. Well, we have 14 hour work day. What do we want today? 12 hour work day. Let's vote on this in a month. Let's see. Probably not. I think it's more the centrists that prefer the, you know, uh, shorter work day. But let's see. 134. We have 134 for their form. While we need 128 votes needed to pass. Well. All right. Not bad. Let's take a look here. Oh, Deutsches Rotzes Kreuz. Founded by Dr. Aaron Silverman of the Schott Charité Hospital of Berlin, the German Red Cross is a voluntary civil service organization, or civil assistance organization. They have pledged to assist the sick and wounded and wounded, sick and wounded, wherever it may, may be necessary. A notable cause, very good. A North German Confederation, I'm not sure when that's going to happen, so... When can we do stuff with Denmark? Preußische Verfassungskonflikt. Foreign politics. Austrian embassy. Hmm. Our ambitions. Uh. Oh. Yes, we like to do that one. Hoxie Flotta. Well. Army of the state. He has reform problems here. Oh, we do. Reforms. Finnish army reforms. Prussian law for military spendage. So that's like, oh, well maybe just, it'll pop up, maybe eventually. I like to do this. The J-Byte Port Expansion. 
A few years ago, we bought a piece of land from the Grand Duchy of Oldenburg at the Jabe Bight, an ideal location for a deep water port at the North Sea. Gold Hill of Hagen has proposed a plan to develop the spot into a proper navy base. It's time to turn the plan into action and start the construction works. Okay, maybe. We still only get 0.91, that's not too bad. Ooh, issue, issue navy bonds to the... Yes, for this? Yes. If we want to strengthen our navy presence in the Baltic Sea, we need to expand the fleet. Although we lack the capacity for large-scale warships, our domestic industry would surely welcome a contract for smaller warships like gunboats. We could use navy bonds to finance such a commission. Should we issue them? Oh, Sokoto, that's in Africa, West Africa. Issue the bonds. Don't issue the bonds. Do you not need a navy? No, we're going to issue the bonds. We must issue the bonds. Oh, we can no longer encourage... Oh. Oh, anymore. Oh, look at that stability. My goodness. My goodness. Still looking good. Voting results. Okay, this is making sense. Yay's 141, but this one says 134. 115 to, uh, you know, one... Whatever it is. All right, well... Oh, the Eulenburg expedition reaches Japan. After months of sailing, the expedition mounted under Eulenburg has reached Japan. Unfortunately, one of the ships has been lost in a typhoon not too far off the coast. Eulenburg will now set out to meet the Japanese delegation and try to establish diplomatic relations. Good. Reach them and talk to them. Steam locomotives? Very nice. Happy 1960, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. What can we do around here? Out of supply. Let's see. Process engineering. I want to build, build, build as much as fast as we can. Capital ship stuff, production efficiency growth. That stuff seems okay. Biochemistry. Research speed. Ah, oh, let's grab more research speed. The chemical structure model. It's only 1%, but the foreign trade deal is accepted. Greece accepted the proposed trade agreement and is now an associate member of the Zilverine. If we manage to secure much more trade deals, this could boost our economy. Sail. Uh, Freusha. Um, alright. Has researched 1860 gunboat hulls to get to the next level. Okay. Oh, crap. Oh, no. 40 ships. 25 capital ships. Oh, well, crud. That's going to suck. How do we get 20... How can we tell what's a capital ship? There's no indicator, is there? Well, I mean, I guess technically yes, but there's no indicator that something is not a capital ship. We have this one we researched. Uh, which we'll say goodbye to just for now. This one technically is... Uh, which one is a capital ship? This one technically is a capital ship. Dominican Republic has declared bankruptcy. Well, what else is new? Um, cannons 1. I like the question mark there. Cannons 2, I guess. Armor? Alright. Wow, that's really slow. Holy crap. But that, whatever. It's alright. And that was this one, right? Early frigates? Oh, they're probably trash. Oh, they're probably really trash. Uh, make one. We gotta make these cap... I guess these are cap ships because there's only five slots there, so... Uh, goodbye. Make only one of those Corvettes. Yeah, we're going to need to make a lot of ships. Holy crap. Howitzers? Oh, do we need howitzers or... Oh my goodness, which one is it? They're just cannons. Do I replace you with... Crap. Slightly less breakthrough. Oh, crud. Which one do we need? Ooh, boy. Howitzers. We had cannons. Oh, we're five, fifth in the world. Look at that. Howitzers versus four guns. Howitzers versus boar guns. Boar guns eventually does go away, though, so we probably want to get rid of, or move away from that eventually, anyways, so. Recon. Recon. Oh, civilian construction speed, yes. Early incandescent light bulb, very good. Come on, keep building, keep building. Is, why is the only nation we can influence is Greece? Um, it's probably not great. I'll do minor influence because it's just because I want that minus five percent. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, I like that. Uh, yeah, not bad. Not bad. The Empire of Brazil declares the South American ambitions. After many discussions on the Parliament, the government of the Brazilian Empire elect is elected a war lead and traditionalist government. The new government expects it to expand and reconquer the former land. The European powers are scared to act because of the Monroe Doctrine, but even some British diplomats have announced taking protective measures. Good luck, guys. Good luck down there. Uh, reconnaissance. I just want to focus on industry. Aviation, I can wait. Socioeconomic human stuff. Oh, construction speed, sure. I like construction speed. 
So we got this stuff, and army of the state would be probably pretty good to do eventually. Russian foreign politics. More legislative power, more stability would not be bad either. I'm gonna keep doing this stuff though. Ooh, that's not bad. But then a Boza? Barca? Uh, we'll do an army with the state. Prussia is not a state with an army, but an army with the state. The 18th century quote. Prussia has a history of military excellence. Let's make our ancestors proud. We get 100 more PP, basically. Alright, not bad. Is there any sort of other reforms we might be able to or want to do? Uh, not completed. I still want to get that done, so. And this is going to be kind of garbage too, but we can do that too. Get at least one of these done and see what happens. Oh! New oh no, don't tell me New Zealand took a state. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, what color is New Zealand? Jesus Christ, what happened in Australia? Oh, is this really what Australia was like? That is so disgusting. That is so disgusting. You are white over there. Waikato? Wellington? Um, That's... French, right? Yeah, directly owned by the French. Kalat? It seems a lot more unified than what it probably should be compared to Vicky 2, but whatever. Maybe the mod is a little bit more updated than Vicky 2, probably. Probably. Well, fair. Anything else we can do here? Disinherit our heir? Well, it's not the heir that's a problem. It's our literal leader. Mr. Stroke. Where are we fifth in the world? Military projection, industrial projection. Oh, boy, come on. Let's keep moving. Let's keep chugging along, guys. Let's keep chugging along. Uh, so horses are really good. Guns are not too bad. Minor influence. God dang it. I just want to build stuff, man. Austria, can you just, like, have a revolution again? Actually, you know what's probably a good idea? Putting you guys... No, I don't want... Why do you click the intelligence agency? No, no, no. I want this one. We're going to have the Brothers War eventually, so we got to be ready for them. We need more generals, too. Hmm. All right, so... Oh, crud. We have two of these now? 40 ships? Oh, god dang it. I gotta stop selecting stuff. I really do. About 3,600 days, but this is also just... I don't know if we'll actually be able to get that one done. Besides, High Seas Fleet. I just want to colonize, man. Uh... Oh... Da -da -da -dum. It says 5% political stability. Why does it say 5%? That doesn't make any sense to me. Isn't it just on a state of 1, 2, 3, or minus 1, 2, 3, or 0? So, yeah. War support, no. Stabilize a nation. Oh, there goes Ecuador. Like They're killing themselves again. What else is new? Factory output. We get more stability in the end of that. That's not bad. Uh, what's stability like right now? It's still going down by minus 0.1. Eh, that's kind of okay for now. Kona Carnival. Oh, our political winter power went down. Come on, are we done yet building? Oh my gosh, build faster! <laughs> oh my goodness. At this point, do we... Mm, stop making those guys. Second Würzburg Conference. The members of the German Confederation have been invited to take part in another conference in Würzburg. This time the military affairs of the Confederation will be discussed. Will Prussia attend? No. Of course not. Why would we? Monthly population. Max factories in the state. 60 stuff. Why would I choose that? Pasteurization, consumer goods goes up by 4%. Nah, we good. Ooh, civilian construction speed. Yes, more monthly population. Now we're currently at what? Ooh, any more manpower too. Oh boy. Three, 310? That's not, that's not too bad. Army of the state? Uh, unlocks decision to get people this. Uh, not bad. Our royal army will perform some exercises to keep drilled and performing well. A new general will bring fresh ideas. But... We should also reform the military high command. The assassination of Henry Hoekson. Henry Hoekson, a respected Dutch American un interpreter in Japan, is dead. After dinner with Eulenburg, he was ambushed by a group of Japanese shishi near the Zempuku Temple in Edo. Hoekson suffered moral to wounds to both sides of his body in the fight. He mounted a horse and galloped about 200 yards to the American legation, was taken inside and treated, but died of his wounds later that night. This was surely a diplomatic impact. How could this have happened? I uh, can't read that. Federal Tokugawa Shogunate.34.a. Very cool. Very cool. I, I like it, but okay. Uh, can we get some more people to join us here, maybe? Uh, Sardinia Piedmont. Jesus. You're looking like you're taking a little bit of Sicily there, son. Nice. And we're not improving relations here anymore. Uh, that's the Ottoman Empire. No. No, we're not. Good. 
the Kölner Zoo. Founded on July 22nd, the Kölner Zoo was recently established as a, its first director being Kaspar Gatta. It's already started seeing profits, displaying hundreds of different animal species from all across the world. Gross Atish. Very good. Or oh, Atig. Atish. I don't know. I'm probably saying that right and wrong at the same time. Consumer goods? Yes! That, sew oh, yes, sewage system. We don't want to poop in our houses. Well, actually, maybe we do. But we want to have a good draining system. Hmm. Outhouses are, are okay, but they're not the end-all be-all. Um... I keep looking. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, thirty-four percent. What? What? Huh? There's literally nothing we can do, unless unless we just auto do it. Do we just auto do it? Maybe. But then again, current progress we've contributed zero percent. Is there mm, a reform we have to take? I don't like this. Then again, I'm just ignorant about it, so I don't really know. Under construction, huh? Internal politics. Is there anything else we could do? Border laws, discriminatory stuff, press, freedom of assembly, trade unions? Well, what do we currently have? We have non-political trade unions, state-controlled, free trade unions. Well, I don't really know. I don't want to make a dis I want to make a decision after I figured out what each thing is about, maybe. Sounds like a probably good idea to be informed of what could happen with this. I'm really pushing for some warfare, because we should get to warfare by 1866. I don't know how long that's going to take to get down there, but ooh, come to partnership boss issue. Eh. Peace conference, good. Take out Ecuador, Ecuador, thank you very much. Mm, more legislative power, that's okay. Research speed, that's not bad. I kind of like that one, the great urbanizer. Friend of capitalism, huh? That's okay. Mm, I don't know if I really want these guys here. I don't really think I do. They're, they're okay, they're not great. Hmm... Uh, and the crop has to be unlocked by a decision. Uh, how is our construction speed going? My gosh, you just take so long, don't you? You just take so long. Oh my goodness. And it's just for another military factory. Uh, keep it at four for now. 20 a day is pretty good already. 12 a day for uniforms? Oh boy. Oh, we actually have some uh, cotton. Cotton? We use cotton. You know, I, I don't like it where I just don't know when events are going to pop up. Because I usually like skipping around just so we can speed things up a little bit more. But, oh my goodness. That's all I'm going to say. Just, oh my goodness. Let's get that one ship done. Uh, early frigate hauls. Yeah, hurry up. Well, then again, this mod just takes quite a while to go through. They'll do a whole world festival or a fair. Oh, crap. Guys, can you build a thing? God dang it, come on. Just build a stupid thing. Is there any way I can build things a little bit faster? Screw where's the consumer goods guy? Actually, how many consumer goods am I not getting? We'll get Siemens in here. Uh, two. Ooh. There we go. That should be better, right? Construction. All right, that should up out by a little bit. Uh, press army has reform pending. Uh, the Crimean War and the Second Italian War of Independence have proven that our former military might has suffered. Despite a rapidly growing population, our standing army is still the same size it was in 1815. We need to reform the army if we want to keep our place among the great powers, which would be this is a good thing to you know, figure out. So hopefully we get down to October 9th very quickly. We have a sewage system in place. Helps us out hopefully even a little bit more. And no, we can't do that. Uh, growth. Legislative power is always good to get. So let's grab that. Neocontism? Kantianism. Neocontianism. Alright, so it's now November. And we're I'm really just trying to push ahead as fast as we possibly can. I have a pretty good CPU too. Oh. Oh look at that. Blunt is war minister? Sure. Chief of the Army Army Plan Reforms. Well, maybe I should have waited to do that. Abraham Lincoln becomes 1860 president elect. This will become interesting. Wow, look at that lag. Having the highest positions in a high military occupied will enable us to plan army reform. We need a minister of war, chief of the army, and hundred command power. Also costs us some time and money. Oh, it costs us one civilian factory. Okay, completes the hairs reform. Okay, focus. Oh, it also just completes our focus. That's not bad. All right, so it's now October 10th. We've got the one thing done. Earning incandescent light bulbs are nice. Recon, recon. Uh, factory output. That's not bad. We could honestly use more factory output. 
I like more construction speed. Let's go with early dynamo generator, perhaps, please. Thank you very much. All right, so, okay, so we got the military industry done. Let's move on back up here. We can go way to the bottom now. It's going to take a little, slightly longer, but by May 1861, we'll have that done. So in less than a year, so less than 365 days, we'll get that one done. And then we can build two things right there, which will be done, hopefully. And then this one requires way too many ships that we cannot support. Holy crap. So we'll get that done one in Pomerania. And then we'll get the naval bases done as well. That's the plan. Because how long is it going to take? 1868, I don't think we'll be able to reach that goal fast enough. Hmm. We need some wood. And we need some fabric. Which we're... Oh, there's fabric. Alright. Okay. Wow. Oh, hold on. There we go. Our plan, army reform? Why not? We already have everyone in there, so... Oh, but it uses a civilian factory. Arr, just do it anyway. God dang it. It, it didn't really hurt us that much. May 1861, that's not bad. Uh, command power, we get two a day. God dang, that's fast. And I know this video is kind of long. I'm just trying to spend as much time as I possibly can with this because I just don't know when events are happening. It doesn't seem like they're happening very much, so which is kind of okay with me, but... Oh, crap. Don't tell me we've got attrition here. Um, I'm going to kick you out here, maybe. There you go. Or just go independent. Yeah, just become independent here. There you go. This should still be enough to hold, pull the line and do well here, right? Uh, actually, just do it like this. I have a uh, defensive front line system. There you go. The Eulenburg reaches expedition reaches China. After leaving Japan, the Eulenburg expedition sailed west through the Yellow Sea towards Tianjin. They landed there earlier yesterday and have already met the Chinese delegation. Time to let the talks begin. Welcome to Tianjin. Alright, that's cool. And actually, weren't we trying to increase relations with Sardinia Piedmont? Oh, have to be after are you kidding? Why does it have to be after 1868? Why? Okay, Dominican Republic, then we'll do you. Why? Why is there a time lock on that? I guess it's on historical, I guess, but still. We just can't walk over to Rome or walk over to Milan or something like that. <laughs> Urban growth attracts people to cities. I think I read this one last time, so... Osberlin loses manpower and they go to Berlin. Not a... Not really a big change there, but whatever. But happy 1860... Oh, wait, we're, we're gonna get that dinner already. So, Hale's reform pending. It has become obvious that our armed forces do not meet Prussian standards anymore, and army reform is inevitable. Should we also order weapons and uniforms to facilitate the recruitment of new divisions? Not necessary. Yavol, yes. Lose some PP, lose stability. Yeah, I'm going to do that anyways. Um, Parliament's here. Requires not him as that. Ooh, reform. A royal decree that aims to expand our armed forces over the next four years. I don't know if I can support this, like... Historical option. I like that, but... I, I, we, we've got too many things to build right now, man. I can't do that one either, because uh, there's too much to do. Uh, let's see. Policy towards Britain requires foreign politics. Let's do that one. Oh, colonial ambition? No, we can't do that one. We need to choose our foreign policy. Okay, that sounds easy. Uh, hold the speech. We ran out of PP. God dang it. Oh, unsure about the content. Uh, he has asked for advice, even though the speech is expected to go smoothly. The whole thing is mere symbolic, and the content itself is irrelevant. Maybe Carl should take a careful approach. The content. <gasps> Death of Friedrich Wilhelm IV? He's dead. Well, thanks for the great description. Long Vil Le Wilhelm. Yay, the guy's dead. Now who we live by? Oh, he's still here. Even in death, he still haunts us. Ah. Seriously, can we get rid of him? What the heck? I thought he was gone. Oh, the coronation of Wilhelm I. Yay! Following the morning of the death of Friedrich Wilhelm IV, our country needs to now look forward and carry on with the succession of a coronation of a new king. This has happened earlier today when Wilhelm I was officially cor coronated in Königsberg. Three hoorays. Yes. Yes. A thousand times yes. Give me those sideburns or whatever you call that. Now we're no longer losing weekly stability. Now that feels good. We just had to kill off our old king. Or Kaiser. Are we still losing guys here? Why is supply so bad here? Why? Alright. Uh, select all. Uh, no, I just want you. There you go. Have fun. Now that should... Yep, there we go. Now we're looking pretty good here. That's pretty nice. Now we should be able to fulfill what we need here. Oh, guns are looking great! Uniforms and cannons.
We'll do that. That's totally okay with me. Um, oh my gosh, we still need to do that stuff over there. It is January. Man, I thought TNO was laggy, I'll be honest, man. I, I thought TNO was slow. Monthly population. Max actually say I'm ignoring everything else. Like, holy crud. Maybe I shouldn't ignore it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to wait for you guys to tell me which one we should do there. Uh, support companies. I might go logistics. Oh, we don't have any logistics companies. God dang it. I'm not sure which one's probably good to get. Probably engineers, because that's always pretty good to get. Uh, oh, better guns. Yes. New infantry rifle, the M1858. Supply consumption goes up. Oh, God, no. I just said I want less supply consumption, not more. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Yeah, maybe 20 combat width. Mm, that might be a, a bit of a stretch. I think 10 combat width for now. That's probably going to be good enough for us. Just saying. Let's upgrade what order we have currently, too. What can we do here? Uh, we have some PP back. Let's go back to the Dominion of uh, the Republican... Dominican Republic. Oklahoma would be looking a little weird. I right near the Comanche. Oh. What? Everything I try to do, it takes so much time. It takes so much time. Oh, my gosh. But I love 1861. I can't wait for the U.S. to explode. I can't wait for fun times. I assume he plays the CSA in Vicky 2 sometime, too. We are just Siam. Sailing south in the China Sea and the end of the Gulf of Thailand. Our delegation under Arlenberg has arrived in Siam. They were greeted warmly and are now in the process of negotiating over a lavish feast, of course. Nice. There we go. Neocontianism. And that's way too ahead of time. Production base and growth. We give them, Oh, that hurt us. Oh, I don't want to do that. That doesn't look very good. Early hospitals. We don't believe in hospitals here. And what is this? Air superiority. Wait, that says 1860. It is 1861. Um, I don't know, ma'am. That's not lining up, but maybe it shouldn't. Uh, I suppose we can do that. Why not? Minor Greek influence. Well, we don't have the PP for it. Trade treaties. I'd like to do some trade treaties, please. And how's this looking? Ninety percent. We've invested none. So, so there's a seed. <gasps> oh, interesting. Well, at least they're doing it historically, where the people are just kind of coming up, you know, one by one. What the heck is? What is this line doing? I mean, I understand like West Virginia. Oh wait, hold on. There's li red lines over here too. Tian Shun declared war on the Empire of the Great. Oh, is it just the entire South? Well, then what happened to Illinois and Indiana? Is there red lines? Oh, okay, it's down there too, and Ohio. That's kind of cool. They got all the way up to Pecos Central, huh? Shamanism. Athapaxcan. Cool. Bada bum bum bada bada dum bum bum. Jefferson Daddy Davis. Uh, policy towards France. Strive for tolerance. We don't believe in tolerance. Do we want to? No. French rivalry. Well, we don't do that one yet, probably. Swiss Embassy. European politics. We must get involved in European diplomacy. Sure, why not? Yes. Alright, good. Uh, we should be done very soon with this. Ooh, place an order for warships in Britain. Oh, that actually helps us out? We can do that? Oh, yes! Yes! We can go ahead with the order now. It will surely strengthen our naval forces in the Baltic Sea. Hopefully it goes well. Uh, we get... Oh, we lose another that. We get two warships. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. I don't want to spend my PP for it, but... Domestically. Oh, we need 1860 gunboats. I gotta get remembered of that. 1860 gunboat holes. I don't want to give them this stuff, but it does give us two things. It will try it once. How about that? Oh, it's going to take 120 kids. Are you kidding me? Support crap. And to get this guy, we need two civilian factories, so we just got to wait till May. Oh, keep making it. Keep going. Yeah, seriously. So I'll be honest with you. Like, I think for the rest of this campaign, I'll read like a bunch of focuses and like read events and decisions that I think are super, super important. But other than that, I've got to spend like hours. Probably just playing this off screen. So, an interesting development. Oh, look at that! Georgia has not succeeded yet. Ah, oh, I love North Carolina. Louisiana. CSA. Constitutional Union Party. Siege on Fort Sumner, an American experiment. Arkansas hasn't done anything. Missouri. Oh, look at him. Look at that, uh, that facial hair. Oh, there goes Arkansas. Bye, Arkansas. Who's next? Texas? Not really Oklahoma. Probably Georgia. 
Uh, I like that St. Louis is its own city. Wait, it has... Missouri is 1.2 million. But St. Louis has 1,000. Hmm. Alright. D.C., 76,000 versus Maryland and... Maryland and Delaware. Alright. New Jersey. I like that New York City, New York, Brooklyn, but Long Island separated from the rest of New York. Rhode Island, Connecticut, Massachusetts, New Hampshire. I always mix, mix up Vermont and New Hampshire. I always mix those two up together. Oh, wait, what the heck? Were we importing something? Oh, wait, there's even more goods? I didn't even realize... Oh, I didn't even realize that. Uh, comparison? Thank you. <laughs> what did we get from the Chinese? It's alright, though. And did we lose any factor? No, we didn't. Oh, hmm. Well, it's alright. We'll get that one done at least. First, Hales Reform. I thought we already did the Hales Reform. Uh, if you like to read about this, go right ahead. I think we already read that. Uh, yeah, we already did read that. We did it. Did it complete again? Okay, whatever. Uh, research speed, yeah. As much as I want to do construction speed, research speed is super important to do as well. Under political power, order ships from Britain. Anything else here that we should really do? Ooh, 40. I don't like this. I don't like that. I can't do anything here. It says we've not invested anything, but I can't invest anything. Ah! Hmm. Oh, we have stuff up there. God dang it. Well, Con Carnival? Oh, here we go. Support Alfred Krupp. Okay, so we got it done. Nice. So it is May, so we got that stuff done. We're going to get to the guy as well. I don't want to use any more civilian factories for that, though, but. <sighs> is Krupp really that good to get? Uh, yeah, he can help us build. 10% is no joke when taking this long. Jesus Christ. So that's done. Now we need to build two civilian industry in this area right here. Right, two civilians. There we go. And that'll be done in 62 probably. Oh, the end of the year. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Foreign trade deal turned... The Dominican Republic turned down the proposed trade agreement and will not become associate member of the Zolverein. Oh, they found in Tsushima conflict. However, we managed to scare the foreign trade deals. This could boost our economy. Well, crap. And let's end with another focus. How about... I'm, I'm probably going to go with Ruins Reform Bill. I don't know if we can really afford to do that right now, but... I don't think we can expand all these areas. I don't have enough industry for everything here. Nah. How about a Swiss Embassy policy towards Britain? How about that? We should decide our outlook towards Britain. But I think that's going to conclude it here for today for me. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know more about this mod that I need to know about, things I should look out for, things I should do, and whether I should encourage Prussian centrism, and as well as I can invest in the Suez Canal at all. Please let me know. But regardless, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you later.